Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this session, we're gonna paint this raven. And let's start with a black. I have some black, some navy blue, a lilac purple, a silver, and some white. And let's start with a very small size zero spotter brush. And I wanna put in the black of the eye to start with. And when you're putting your paints out, just use the little bits because you really don't need as much as you think you do. We probably won't even use all the paint that I have put out here. And we're not painting an entire canvas, we're just painting this little bird, so he's really not that large. Okay, so I'm just putting the black of the eye and then take that zero spotter brush and put a little bit of black on the nostril and then let's see if we can do this line of the beak and take a screenshot to copy the sketch and i can also try to put it at the end of the video or put a link so that you can copy it okay and then where else so we could put some black underneath the beak as well kind of feather out some of these feathers that you see just a little bit of texture on the bird. And then we can take this black and put a little bit around the feet, maybe on the ends of the claws. So I'm just putting in the darkest values of the bird. And that black is our deepest, darkest color. And now let's switch to a larger brush and block in some of the dark values. So for that, you could use, I'm gonna use this size nine filbert. And I'm gonna take that black paint and let's put some at the bottom here. So that's kind of in shadow. And then just carefully try to paint around the legs of the bird. Put some underneath there. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. We're just blocking in the initial color. And acrylic is good because if you make a mistake, you should be able to paint over it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the side of my brush here and just kind of sweep up to do those feathers. And then I wanna put a little bit of a dark value around the shoulder, coming down the end here can put some feathers kind of like on the side and then around the face so I'm gonna carefully put in a dark value around the face here so the beak is gonna be lighter and then around the face that's around the beak you want that dark black color Okay, and then I'm just sort of feathering the paint down. And you can see on this sketch, I have some details for the different feather marks. Going all the way to the end of this spot. Okay, and then I see the chest feathers here are gonna be pretty dark. So let's put some really dark black in there and then I just kind of want to go around some of the feathers just to kind of break up the shapes here so that we do have some different shapes in the bird. So where I have my pencil line or my sketch line, just kind of going around with this dark, dark black color. Okay. And right here, you can just kind of fill in your lines. Let's put a little bit of black up here. And maybe right up here along the face. You can put a little bit more around the neck. And then this side of the wing is in the back, so it's in quite a bit of shadow, so we can kind of make that pretty dark. And I might 
just kind of fill that in all the way. And then around these feathers, there's quite a bit of a dark texture and shadow. So I'm just going to kind of go over those lines in that dark color. Okay. All right. So that gives a nice underpainting for the dark values. And now I have this dark navy. This is just a craft paint. I think it's um, an art, a folk art mat. It's called Uniform Blue. You don't have to use the same one. You could just take like an ultramarine blue and mix it with some black. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of black into this blue. And then I wanna put these, I wanna kinda cover up some of these spots that we have where the black goes. You can turn your paper so that you get a better angle. I'm not going to do that for the sake of the video, but if you're painting along at home, go ahead and turn your paper so that you can more easily get right into those little spaces. Okay, and then let's put some of this blue up here. So if you look in nature, if you look at a raven's coat, it's not totally black. It has a lot of beautiful iridescent blue and purple undertones. Okay, so I want a darker value here. And then I might take kind of a straight blue without any of the black mixed in. Just kind of feather around. So I'm losing my sketch a little bit. I'm going to go around the eye. I'm losing my sketch a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on the top of his beak. Maybe a little bit on the bottom. And then put some in here. Okay, so now that we have the blue, I want to switch to a purple shade. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this lilac into the blue. And see, that's going to give us a medium value blue. So let's try to put that around the chest area. So our mid-tone value can go right here. And make sure you have enough water on your brush to really get, get in there. And I see I have some, I'm going to do a little bit of a wash to kind of cover up some of these black or um, cover up the white that's kind of showing through. So I'm just going to kind of go over with a layer of watery blue that's like a glaze just kind of going over it that's just kind of covering up the white and bringing everything together just kind of do that step and then you have this beautiful blue glaze kind of showing through okay so we can kind of let that dry a little bit and while we're letting that dry Let's focus on the feet. So I'm going to take that size zero spotter and I want like a, to use that purple. So we'll take that lilac, we'll pop it in there for the feet. And it's okay if it goes over the black. It's going to be fairly light compared to that black, so it's going to just show through nicely. Just kind of fan that. Okay, and then if I wanted a shadow, I could take some of this blue and kind of mix it up at the top where the leg is in shadow. Just kind of mix the colors. It's okay if they kind of mix together 
on the palette. It's going to give you like a nice bluish purpley gray color. Okay, and we don't want the feet to have too much detail. I'm going to try some of this silver paint on top of the legs and see what that does. So that's a nice gray color and then gives it a little bit of a highlight too. Okay, and now let's take that lavender and see if we can paint in the beak. So take the zero spotter and then see if you can carefully paint in that beak. And if you get close to the black line, it's okay. Again, it's kind of transparent. And then I'm going to kind of put in some color where we lost some of our sketch. Just put that in. And then we lost a little bit of this side, so I'm going to put a little bit of a line back in just where that beak is supposed to be. It's kind of rounded here and then it kind of goes a little bit sharp there. Okay, and now let's look at the eye. So I'm going to take that same lilac and pretty purple and let's try to make a line around the eye. It's like an eyelid. Just try to do this really carefully. It seems to be like showing up a little bit more on the left and the right. Okay. Then kind of make sharpen this part up a little bit. All right. And then if you wanted to, you could try to put in that, um, white of the eye. So take this spotter, take a little bit of white, and then just pop a little dot in there for the eye. And then if you want to put a little kind of a semicircle shape, you could do that for the nostril. All right, so let's see. We need some um, let's grab a five size five flat brush. I want to take this silver paint and let's just put a little bit of a kind of a shadow to make it look like there's almost like a rock underneath his feet where he's standing. I could mix up a little bit of a gray, taking a tiny bit of black, mix it into some white this titanium white, and then see if that can give us a little bit of a gray for the texture of the stones. And just kind of mix that up, put a little bit of highlight. Okay, so that just gives the bird, grounds him and kind of gives him something to stand on. Okay, so I'm going to try let's let's see if we can put some of these lighter values so i'm going to take this purple without anything mixed in and i'm going to try to put in um, some of these lighter spots so there's one over the head here so i'll press down and kind of lift up and then there's one here so for that one, I'm just going to kind of push down, lift up. So this is like the highlight areas. So I want to try to make the shapes of the feathers. And you can, like I said, kind of change the direction of your paper to make this a little easier. But basically, I want to make just some layers of feathers. I'm going to go here and it can be random because, you know, these are our natural feathers on the bird. So you can just kind of put them in a natural way going on the side of the brush and putting in some 
highlight there for the wings and then we could do the same thing on this side go on the edge of the brush and just do some strokes to make like a line and we have these little marks so the filbert brush this is the size um, six filbert i think so you're going on, you're kind of using the shape of the brush to give you the shape of the feather. So these filbert brushes are really good for painting feathers. Okay, and you can see how that really, um, really looks neat. Okay, so I might take a little bit of white and mix it in with that blue and create another variation of the highlighted feathers. And I don't want to go down too far because I don't want to get the dark areas. We need some light and some dark. That contrast is what makes the painting really pop. Okay, so I might try I might try with the silver paint and I might just put in I don't know if it's showing up on the camera as being kind of reflective, but I'm just going to put some of these kind of silver little wisps in there. And that's just going to give me a nice magical look, pretty um, interest there. I might take that and let's take some titanium white with a little bit of that silver. See if we can pop in a highlight on the nose or the beak, okay? And then just kind of step back and see what you wanna add, what you wanna change. I would maybe put a little bit of a darker value down here. And you might wanna go back with the black and put in some darker feather shapes like this with the brush. You can overlap some of that lighter painting that you did and some of the spaces where you kind of lost your sketch or you lost your dark values. Just go ahead back over and that extra layer of dark is just going to make your painting pop a little more. Okay, so yeah, at this point, it's just a matter of kind of balancing your lights and your darks. Okay, so we're going to call it done there. Thanks for watching. I hope you get a chance to paint along with me. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.